Fox. Oh, and he is going Fox in this matchup. I think that our uh, Joker would be a better matchup. Um, you would think so. You would think so. But for some reason, Ian just has the uh, has the number here. Or according to Master, that's the uh, that's the situation. So let's see how this uh, episode of Master vs. Ian plays out. So, so far, so good for our protagonist at the moment. Man. But I'm, I'm a it, Fox player, so I love Fox. I can't root for either of these players, really. It hurts my soul so much to see Fox just get nothing off of grab. He doesn't deserve it. <laughs> I mean, you're right, but... Like, like, and I play Fox, man. Like, he's my secondary, and he doesn't deserve it. What he really didn't deserve was the weight nerf. Uh, I agree. Get, get rid of fair foot school. That was garbage to begin with, but... It was hilarious. Nevertheless, we have a close game. I think Master got his jump. No? No. 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 How does he yeah, move so fast? It really just breaks it, my head. Yeah, it feels like he's... Like, how is he playing melee in this game? It feels like he has access to a special controller or just some... I, it like, doesn't make sense to me. Like, he's still... His fastball is just twice as fast as my fastball. Beautiful combo. F tilt to finish it off. Doesn't go for a tech chase because that's the kind of situation that you can get reversed in pretty easily, but Master still pins it up. 56% is absolutely nothing for that's one grab on Fox. Oh wow. Yeah, jab block is not good. Yeah, it's just moves so well with this character. I thought well, it was gonna be yeah, I thought it was gonna be smash too. Oh, down. Yeah, they're right. beating out the, the Nair there. Shield is just so strong against him right there. I guess you really can't do anything, especially with the way these better players um, are always angling it to get maximum usage out of whatever they got left. Yeah, but we still saw Spoke, uh, Poke there. I think uh, Eon just didn't expect him to pressure it for that long. Right. Wow. Yeah, I'll smash out of Shield. You can't finish off that job combo there. Nope. It was, yes, once um, Mastiff threw off that first jab, it was kind of like a mix-up to see if he would drop shield. Mm -hmm. And uh, Yon did not. I like that Mastiff just, uh, Yon wanted Master to play, press a button there. He just did nothing, dropped, and grabbed it. Oh, no. A uh, runaway F smash. It's the second time he's landed that. Uh, since earlier today. It's funny how some Marios just love to up smash, but it really seems like Massa is just an uh, F smash kind of kind of sewer. Well, it's funny. Most F smash that I've seen that Ma Massa lands, he just stands there and F smash you, and it like somehow works. But he's been doing the runaway F smash a little more. The auto whip punish is real on that move, man. Like when you pull yourself back like that, and you kind of. It's not that you change your hurtbox, it's almost like you're doing a little half turn, like a little 180, and then you kind of come back around. But once again, you can't attack your shield. But that was a pretty uh, respectable showing against a character that he has a lot of trouble with. I'm not sure what they're saying, what part they're talking about. Yeah, Masta seems a little frustrated, but he's laughing it off. Yeah, I've seen frustrated Masta, and this is not. He's, he's enjoying life. Alright. Tempo and mood, like, play such a big part in, like, how well you play in a game like this. That is, I mean, you have no time to breathe when you're getting your, uh, your face kicked in. Grab here. Good parry from Masta leading to some damage from him. Yeah, I think one of the advantages that that Fox has in this matchup is actually, like, weirdly a disadvantage in that his fastball, you know, it's going to mean that he gets comboed more, but oh, he's able to get to the ground really quickly, and absolutely. that makes it hard for Masta to get all those follow-ups he's been getting earlier. You know, we've seen him, like, against Syro, he would always just... Uh, like chase him down and then um, oh my god see what you were saying was 
all 100% true and valid. And in the time that it took you to say that, Eon is just such a master of the character. He put on such a display, like that up smash from the platform, and then puts on 71% to extend this lead. But you're absolutely right in that the fast fall ability, for whatever reason, seems to help out Fox a little bit more in this game than it has in previous games, just getting out of combos, where in the last game it seems like it really made him. Smash Forward seems like a more floaty game overall, so. It's another. Oh same platform, same up smash. Different side. He got the sour hit of up smash, which maybe that was intentional because it set up a platform tech chase into another one. Alright, finally one of these up smash attacks. And Mass has got quite the hill to climb. I, 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 I almost don't want to believe that. How that did Eon combo Mario the way Mario should combo Fox? <laughs> I almost don't want to believe that all this stuff is intentional from... No, it is, bro. Like, but because the amount of intelligence that or, or skill this at this is, game I is know, just like... I know. This, we're not that great. I'm not sure about you. I can tell you I've tried, and it's not easy. I've tried for like almost four years now, and it's a hard game to be good at if you include Smash Bros. the same game. But how do you actually anticipate where your opponent is going to be? How does and, Beethoven and play the piano the way he plays the piano, man? He just does it. You get the sour spot of the up smash to send them on the platform. This to... is art at its finest. Then you just jump and land on the platform and just up smash in place. It's, it's because he knows, consciously or not, what his opponent is going to do more than we do. It's why, let's get back to football. Tony Romo, great announcer now. Why? Because he's such a uh, good football player. Who knew it? I like Tony Romo. I bet Ian would be a great announcer. Or, I mean, a great commentator, but he's too busy winning tournaments all the time that he never has a chance. That's right. Awesome. Now you're stuck with us. <laughs> Massa is so good, but like, and that's the thing too, like, for, to, to make a person who is so dominant, who makes so many good players look weak, to make that person Oh weak. no, he's doing it again. See, now look at Massa's face. That is not having fun, Massa. That right there, that, uh, that pucker of the lips. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, he so went he, with Sonic. Yeah, no, he's given up. Um, and by that, I mean, well, I have no other way to word it. He's giving up. Like, he's not going to... He just grabbed him out of Spin Dash. You can do that in this game? I guess. I guess. I mean, you can't uh, shield Spin Dash anymore, so... I never... When I'm watching, because I watch... If I'm... If I ever leave MSM early, I always watch the um, the stream. Like whenever players do this, I just never know what to even think or say. Like I almost always just like turn it off. I'm like, okay, well I guess they're just messing around. Yeah, it's it's fun to see. I think. Um, actually, Ian Ian's Fal Falco is pretty sick. Ian's Falco is pretty sick. I don't. Master Mario just plays Sonic sometimes. I mean, I've, it was really I funny because earlier today, when I was watching, uh, I thought to myself, I forget who he was playing with. Like, well, the only character else you could possibly go in front of would be Sonic, because I've never seen him go anyone other than Sonic at this level. Like, round one, he'll go, you know, Fox. I think, he was, I think he was going with Banjo for a little bit. I could see it. I mean, to be honest, I don't know that much about Sonic between games right now. I, I, most of the, my knowledge is probably outdated because he's changed a lot since Smash 4. Um, let's see. He's... I watched this like 20 minute video, the difference between side B and down B, and I still can't tell you the difference, man. Honestly, like he's just a spinning ball. He just turns it. So much, uh, so many of his moves is he just spin Spins dashes you. at yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, that dash attack looks kind of cool in this game. At least that's not another little spinning move. If there was some kind of weird rules associated with that that like would kill you all the time, this character would just be slept on and like kill you all the time. Because nobody understands the difference. And you would think that a character with the fastest run of the game like would be automatically top tier, but his moveset is just so specific and so weird. Like that was cool, but you can do that. I don't know. Once twice, stops, tops. Yeah, I, I th we have seen. Ken make this character work recently though. I had to play Ken at an MSM one from Smash 4 oh, and, no. and it was probably 
some of the loops. It's not a fun ever had. Because he would just, what, what's that thing called? The uh, spin shot, man? Like, like, you get him on the ledge and he's just like, woo, center stage. It's like, alright, cool. Just like, spin dash shield, spin dash shield, spin dash shield. Run in, grab, up throw, spring ride, up air. You're dead at 40%. Yeah, I, I often felt like I just got hit by Sonic in, in Smash 4 just because I got so frustrated of him constantly spin dashing in front of me. Ooh. Good tech in. Ooh, Eon on the hunt. Yeah, because it's such a campy mindset, such a campy uh, player.